Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a little sit down chat and talk about something I have dealt with for most of my life and that is iron deficiency or anemia as some of you might have known it as. So why I want to talk about this is because I feel like it's quite common for women to be diagnosed with this um, problem and Honestly, it just kind of sucks. And some of the symptoms are, you know, just feeling super lethargic and really exhausted. So I'm gonna show you what I've done to get my iron levels back up in my body and start feeling really healthy again. So I'm going to assume if you're watching this video that you've also been diagnosed as iron deficient or you're thinking you have this similar problem. Now, I do have to throw in a quick disclaimer and say, this is not medical advice. I'm not a doctor and I definitely don't have any kind of science or pharmacy background. So just a quick reminder, if you do like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button as it really supports my channel. Now let's get into it and I will tell you a little bit about my story with iron deficiency. So if you don't know what anemia or iron deficiency is, it's when your body is not really absorbing the iron from the foods that you're eating or it's just not producing enough healthy red blood cells and that can lead to some pretty shitty symptoms like you know fatigue and nausea or feeling shortness of breath in some extreme cases. So. For me, I found out because I actually always felt really, really exhausted and I was kind of getting some pins and needles and like numbness in my legs and having difficulty sleeping. And then at one stage, my office building had some stairs to like get up to my office and I actually felt completely out of breath. And I go to the gym probably six days a week. So that is really unusual for me because I actually have a really good level of cardio fitness. So at that point I went to my GP and I asked them, you know, what could be wrong? And she suggested to do a blood test. So I will say, obviously, first and foremost, always seek the advice from your doctor because if you just think you have these symptoms, you could be misdiagnosing yourself. So it's always best to just go in get a blood test and just see exactly what's going on for your body and for you. So I was found to have extremely low iron. I think my level was about five, which is in the red. And that means you really need to do something quite urgently. Otherwise you have to go for a transfusion. So my older sister also has this problem. And I remember she had to get a transfusion once and said it was quite painful because iron is, you know, quite like a heavy metal in the blood. So when they give you a infused drip of that, it's quite a heavy substance and it can just feel a bit cold and strange going in. So I think natural is always best. So it's really nice to try and get on top of the issue before you let yourself get too far. And that is when I found a different product. So initially what I was taking was these tablets, which are called Ferrograd C, and it says the prevention and treatment of iron deficiency with vitamin C. Now the vitamin C thing is the real key here because apparently when you take like ferritin or iron, it doesn't um, really take or work unless you take it with vitamin C. So that's why you'll see a lot of these tablets come with vitamin C in them as well. So I was taking these tablets initially quite consistently and I think you can just get them at a pharmacy. I don't think you need a prescription or anything like that, but be aware you should definitely speak to your doctor about this. You should not take these unless you are low in iron. So just be really careful that you're not taking too much because that can also cause the opposite kind of problem. So yeah, I was taking these tablets and to be honest, I hated them. They make you constipated, you pretty much poo black, and they were just an awful, awful experience. I felt so bloated all the time, and it honestly just made me want to give up, and they did not really work in me as well, because obviously I wasn't taking them often enough because of the kind of symptoms from these, and yeah, they just didn't really take in my system as well as I would have hoped. So I just thought this isn't really a good solution for me and I really need to try something else. So that's when I found this other product, which is from Boost and it's uh, another sort of ferritin tablet thing, but these are just like 
kind of similar to a Barocca. You can just dissolve it in water and their raspberry flavor, which is a little bit nicer than taking the yucky tablets. And because it is in this kind of tablet, like water drinking form, I think it's a little bit easier on your stomach. However, I noticed that the level in this wasn't really boosting my iron enough either because they're just not very strong so that is a good alternative if you want a kind if you maybe aren't severely iron deficient and you just want like a softer easy way and these are really affordable you can just get them at Woolworths as well so i would recommend them but i think my final product i'm going to show you is Honestly, what really turned around my iron levels, and I still take these whenever I feel like I'm low in iron, and that is these ones called Spartone. So it just comes in these little sachets like this, and I think you could just drink it, but um, maybe I'm just really weird with this kind of thing, but I think these smell and taste disgusting. So basically, it's it says it's... um mineral water equivalent to five milligrams of elemental iron as ferrous iron. So Fe2 plus whatever, I don't know. <laughs> I think that must be on the elemental table. If you're a science person, please explain because I don't really understand. But basically it says you can have one to two sachets daily. And I spoke to my GP about this and she recommended these and they are fucking brilliant. Honestly, they are incredible. I was putting two of these into the key ingredient, which is some vitamin C. So I just got an orange juice. Doesn't really matter what kind of one you get, but obviously if you're a little bit more health conscious, you should try and find one with no added sugar or just get fresh squeezed orange juice if you can as well. And I just put two of these a day into some orange juice and had that. And then you can't taste the flavor at all. And that seriously, I think they come in a 14 uh, day package and a 28 day pack. And I would just get the 28 day one. So that's only two weeks. It does give you a little bit of bloating, but nowhere near what the tablets do. And that boosted my iron up so much. I think I did the 28 day, 28 sachets, sorry, twice. So it took me a month to get through two packs of them. And I went back and had my blood test done again. And it, my level was like 50. Like I was well into the healthy range to the point where my GP advised that I no longer needed to take them. So I do know that because of the way my body works and just not absorbing iron in general, that it will kind of just dip again in the future. But the Spartone sachets have honestly just been such a game changer for me. And I would literally recommend them to anyone. I just bought these myself at Chemist Warehouse. So I'm obviously Australian. That is a chemist uh, sort of chain that we have here, I guess. But I assume you could find them somewhere online because I think they're an international product anyway. But yeah, I just really wanted to jump on here and recommend these sachets to anyone that hasn't heard about them because I tell everybody, whenever someone says that they have an iron deficiency problem, I'm like, oh my God, get Spartone. Like they're just the best. They work so quickly and you just be feeling yourself again in no time because anyone who has kind of struggled with the symptoms of being iron deficient knows how much it can really affect your life. Because for me, it meant I couldn't really train as hard as I wanted at the gym. I wasn't really sleeping properly. And I just felt honestly exhausted. It, it was really difficult to try and get out of bed in the morning, but taking those sachets has made it so much easier. Just being able to pop them in some orange juice. And like I said, within two to four weeks, depending on how high you needed to get your levels back up to, I have really seen significant changes in those. And I honestly think it's because it's in a liquid form and not a tablet form. So it just kind of really absorbs better. So yeah, I would really recommend these. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I would love to answer any questions if you guys want any further advice. Yeah, they just really work. And I think the more people that know about that, the better because being iron deficient doesn't have to suck. You just need to find the right supplement that works for you to get your levels back to normal. So if that's helped anyone today, then that makes me really happy because I just felt like I'd hit a gold mine when I found these. So thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye.